a CTD counter will be inserted in network 1 of FC10. We start by adding a condition to trigger the count operation, a normally open contact in this example. Now we will expand the counter menu item in the basic instructions catalog and click drag and drop the CTD counter onto the line in network 1. The counter is actually a standard function block which requires an instance data block to operate. This pop-up allows the user to name and number the block manually or to accept the system generated name and numbering as we will do in this example. We will now set the condition to load the preset value PV to the output CV of the counter. And enter the preset value PV and storage location CV for the count value. We use 8 for PV and MW200 for CV in the example. The counter is inserted and configured. We will now download the block to monitor the counter operation. Click the eyeglass icon to go online and monitor the block. With LD high, the value at PV is written to the count value and sent to the output CV as shown. CV retains the value when LD goes low until CD goes high, at which point the counter counts down 1. Each leading edge at CD will count down 1. When the count reaches zero, Q goes high. A high at LD resets the sequence. 